starts now. Oh, well, good evening to you and welcome to ABC4 News at 6. I'm Brian McElhatton. And I'm Sarah Murphy. Thanks for being with us right here tonight. We're following this for you. The Utah National Guard is telling us more about the Cottonwood Heights man whose wife allegedly admitted to shooting him in his sleep. Yeah, that's what police are telling us. Our Jonathan May has been on the story for us all day today. He's live from the Cottonwood Heights Police Department with more on this story. And Jonathan, this thing reads like a crime novel. Yeah, Brian, Sarah, it does read like a crime novel. Even talking with police here, they, they've gotten national attention. People have been reaching out to them. And right now, detectives are working around the clock, following every lead they can. And while they investigate, we're learning a bit more about what happened and who guardsman Matthew Johnson was. I worked with Sergeant Johnson uh, periodically and, and always a respectful, you know, kind person. Major Miller says Johnson used to be a Green Beret. He was on their team the last 16 years. He just... He came to work, he did his, his job really well. He built relationships. Uh, a lot of the people that I work with and that care deeply for him have expressed a lot of remorse. And so it's 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 a hole in our team that, that's gonna, is never gonna be filled. The 51 year old reportedly went missing more than a week ago after he didn't show up to work at base. Police called the disappearance suspicious and showed up to the family's residence. Uh, this is this is an, an abnormal and tragic event that has befallen our community and uh, um, our heart goes out to the to the family and the children. And uh, again, this is not something we deal with every day. Yesterday, they arrested his wife, Jennifer Gledhill, for murder. Court records show she previously filed for a protective order from Johnson, but a court commissioner found there were no cases of domestic violence or abuse that warranted a protective order, and the matter was dismissed. Police say the couple had been considering divorce. I would consider you know, murdering someone a domestic violence. You know, if I could say that one, it ended in violence and we, and we had a murder and she was arrested accordingly. Court documents claim Gleddale told a third party she shot her estranged husband in the head in the master bedroom of their Cottonwood Heights home, allegedly telling the third party she then buried Johnson in a shallow grave at an undisclosed location. Police are still working on finding Johnson's body. Utah defense attorney Clayton Sims explains to me what's called the corpus delecti rule. It's Latin. Meaning body of the crime. So you, it appears in this case there is some physical evidence, blood, um, ordering a new mattress, sort of circumstantial evidence, but no body. Uh, so to prove that someone is dead, you generally need a body. Court documents say Gledhill allegedly openly admitted to shooting him. That's not necessarily reliable. If someone said, oh, this happened, I shot him, uh, this is how he died. You would need more than that. Certainly, it, it would be powerful evidence. The Collinwood Heights Police Department says detectives are working full time and they hope to have closure here. Now, of course, we'll continue to update this story both on air and online at abcforward.com for you. Sarah, Brian. And more to come on this story for sure. Jonathan, thank you.